Welcome in KK Java Tutorials. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to install MongoDB server on Windows machine. So to install MongoDB server on your Windows machine, first of all go to the Google and search for the MongoDB download. Okay, And here is the official website. Just go to this website and here directly as we have searched MongoDB download on the Google, so directly we navigated on the download link. But even if you land on the uh, home, home, home page of uh, this official website, from there also you can navigate to the download directory or download link, right? So first of all, go to the product and product, you have a different categories, right? So we are going to download the community edition of MySQL, uh, sorry, not MySQL, but MongoDB uh, server. So just click on the community server. And here if you scroll down here you can see we reached all the on the same page right and here current version is showing 603 that's the current version current version is showing right and that is uh, for windows if you are if you want to install mongodb and some other uh, windows operating system then you can select accordingly and here uh, i'll keep as it is msi msi is nothing but the microsoft installer and apart from that if you want to use, download jeep then also we can go for it but here i would like to install msi so that i can install uh, mongodb server as a, as a windows service uh, windows service right so and click on the download link right so it will start the download download will take few minutes so file size of this uh, uh, msi installer is some somewhere around 482 mb so it will take some time that also depends on your internet speed so download of mongodb uh, server is done now go to the downloaded folder and here this is the msi installer so just right double click on this uh, installation uh, folder so i'm going to click install anyway and now download uh, installation uh, wizard is going to open installation is pretty simple uh, so just you need to click on the next 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 something like that so just click on the next and here you need to accept the agreement license click on the license check click on this checkbox and click on the next and here you have two options either you can uh, install complete mongodb server or custom installation so i would go for the complete installation and here uh, here uh, you can see that this uh, checkbox right install mongodb as a service so i'll keep as it is because uh, when installation is done then i want mongodb should be the part of uh, windows uh, basically uh, service startup right and and here uh, the, and this service name would be listed as a mongodb in uh, your uh, basically uh, windows service and uh, this is showing the installation directory right so here uh, uh mongodb uh, basically all the data right uh, yeah, i mean all the data Mongo related to mongodb is going to store in the uh, this uh, mongodb server 60 data folder and apart from that if you would like to see the mongodb logs then this is the log directory click on the next now uh, here something is called a mongodb compass MongoDB Compass is nothing but they say it's a basically a GUI tool or graphical user interface tool uh, through which you can basically connect with your MongoDB server and you can do uh, basically all the kind of current operation, right? You can compare with the like uh, SQL developer, Oracle SQL developer or Toad, right? So even if we selected this checkbox over here, install MongoDB Compass and if this explanation is saying that it will automatically download and install in, in your machine. But it is not going to happen. So in next video, we'll we'll learn how to install MongoDB Compass. But keep keep this is selected, not a problem. Now click on the next and click on the install. So installation process will take some time, right? Just wait. It is asking uh, my computer is asking to uh, for permission. So I am going to click on yes. So that installation process will be continue. guys now you can see uh, mongodb server installation is completed and fortunately at this time it has installed uh, mongodb compass as well but sometimes uh, even if you click the checkbox uh, 
uh, for installation of MongoDB Compass sometimes it's failed to basically install so in that case you need to install MongoDB Compass uh, separately so finally uh, installation is completed now we need to click on the finish right and uh, now uh, just open the command prompt by writing the cmd and here uh, just you need to check whether mongodb installation is completed successfully or not so for that command you need to use but prior to that what i'll do uh, you need to set the path for your mongodb right so so to set the path what exactly you need to do you need to go to the installation directory probably in this uh, program files and here you must get the mongodb folder so here you can see mongodb folder is created and you need to go to the basically mongodb server 60 and inside that bean and you need to copy this path and go to the environment variable and environment variable uh, so you need to set this path so select the path so here i am going to select the user variable path uh, you can set basically a path in the system variable as well so that it will be valid for all the users logged in into this computer but uh, just I am going to set a path in the uh, basically user variables and click on add it and here uh, just you need to set this path as well right and click on ok and click on ok again right now uh, just open the command prompt and here you need to type after setting the path of mongodb server you need to you need to type mongo d hyphen hyphen version so it will so here you can see uh, it is uh, printing all the mongo de detail server so it is saying for version is mongodb server version is 603 and this of the details right so that's how you can install a uh, mongodb uh, server on your windows machine and while installing the basically mongodb server i had uh, checked in uh, a mongodb compass right checkbox so it has installed the mongodb compass as well if sometimes let's say while installing the mongodb server mongodb compass uh, uh, basically or uh, uh, do not get installed successfully then separately you need to basically install so let's say to connect with the basically uh, mongodb compass with your mongodb server so mongodb compass it, it's a gui interface which provides you to connect with the mongodb server so either you can click to connect with the mongodb server either you can click over here connect and create a new connection or here you can see it is showing the uri and it is installed on the local local host my, my local computer system and mongodb port is 27017 so mongodb either you can run on the cloud like azure or aws or your local computer system so here we have installed on our local computer system right so, so URI, is, URI is already there and just you need to click on the connect and if you click on the connect then here you can see uh, so here you can see databases these are the databases look databases you can see over here and rest of the details so in this video tutorial we have learned how to install mongodb server as well as mongodb compass so mongodb compass was the part of uh, mongodb server installation itself but uh, of course uh, uh, we have uh, basically successfully installed mongodb server as well as mongodb compass so that's all i wanted to show in this video tutorial thank you so much for watching this video and uh, see you there in the next video tutorial